get going, just how just energizing is it to have a deeper, more balanced roster uh, as you look towards the spring? You have no idea. We have a really diverse pitching staff. We got speed, we got movement, we got everything we need there. We have depth in our lineup, which is going to be really helpful, especially later in the season. If Hopefully, hopefully not, but if we start to face injury and stuff like that. So it's been really cool to be able to have people running for us in practice and not the outfielders having to run every single practice. <laughs> but we have a lot of depth, and it's going to really help us out this year. How much stronger, though, are the returners just in terms of character mentally for having the experience of last year? Definitely. I think it was a learning experience the whole year, and a lot of people stepped up into leadership roles, and that's really helped us so far this year because we do still have a pretty young squad, and the fact that some of these sophomores are able to be leaders and feel like they are leaders on this team is really helpful for our team. So in particular, how are those girls carrying themselves this year as opposed to last year? Yeah, there's definitely a lot more confidence, which is really cool to see out of our young players. And even the freshmen, like a lot of people are having to compete for spots right now, which is really like good for our team, I think. What are you looking for to get out of fall ball, Haley? Because in a, in a lot of ways, like you don't quote unquote need it. Like there's not a lot of areas for, where you can necessarily look to improve exactly. So what exactly do you look to get out of this last fall ball for you? I'm just excited to see what our team looks like. And I'm excited to work on mostly my leadership skills. Um, I've never really been a vocal leader, so I've had to do that this year, which has been a challenge. But it's been really fun so far. And personally, I'm always looking to improve. And I just want to work on my game and make sure that I, as a leader, am doing what I needed to do to be ready for season as I'm preaching it to the younger kids. With the law change in California, Haley, if, in the equivalency sport, there would be an argument that you would be among the athletes nationally, not just here at Oregon, mm -hmm. who would probably benefit most <laughs> given your social media following. For mm -hmm. that. What has been your reaction? We're obviously, look, it doesn't take effect for a while, but. Mm -hmm. In watching that as a current athlete, as a current college athlete, what has been your reaction to it as a California native here, et cetera? Mm. Obviously, as someone who is pretty active on social media, I think it's a great opportunity for these athletes whose names are being used out there anyways, and the fact that they would get to benefit off of it would be really cool to see. Uh, personally, it's not going to affect me, so I don't have any personal ties to it as of right now, but I do think that in the future it could be a great opportunity for some of these bigger athletes. I do think that there are still some things that need to be fine-tuned, but I do think it's a good opportunity.